New at six, one Rankin County girl is recovering after a poisonous caterpillar sting. Yeah, 16 WAPT's Ross Adams just talked to that girl and joins us live in our newsroom now. Ross. I can tell you it was a scary situation for her family. Take a look. This is the caterpillar. It's called a buck moth that she says sent her to the hospital. How can a caterpillar do this? 12-year-old Mary Braden Gass was playing in a friend's backyard when this crawling creature stung her. Bursting into my foot. The Rankin County girl says when she jumped out of a hammock, she stepped on a poisonous caterpillar. At first, I thought it was a sticker, but then it started turning, like, it had, like, white stuff in it, and then it started turning purple and swelling really bad. It's real surprised that a caterpillar could do that much harm. First, her mom rushed her to a nearby clinic. She said, by the reaction she was having, she was having an allergic reaction to the um, the bite, and that she needed to go to the ER. In the emergency room, doctors had to strap duct tape to the girl's foot to remove barbs filled with venom that was infecting her body. She was in so much pain, physicians gave the girl morphine. Now, guests urging other parents to warn their kids to watch where they step. We're very surprised that a cat little caterpillar was causing all this harm. So, yeah, we just, I didn't know about it, so I wanted people to be aware to, you know, show their kids what they look like and just, um, you know, that they can sting. Now, other than that nasty bruise on her foot, her mom says doctors expect the girl to make a full recovery. Live in the newsroom, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Well, that is good to hear for sure. Ross, thank you.